Here's an update on the Asian pears and apples and what I learned by not thinning my fruit tree. There were thousands of flowers and hundreds of fruit. I counted probably, well, I stopped at around four or 500 fruit. And the size of the fruit, this is one of the larger ones, slightly larger than a ping pong ball. This one is about the size of a ping pong ball. And you can see there's lots of them. I get a lot of burnt edges here because of the sun. It's just really hot here in St. George. Temperature gets hot, the sun beats down on it and kind of burns the edges of it. Now, most of the burn is actually not bad. You can eat it like this one, good example. It is a little sunburned, but it doesn't change the flavor at all. Whereas in the back here, see if I can zoom in this one you see how it's flatter on the top there and it's kind of curled that is heat damage this guy is basically toast here I'll bite into it and show you what it looks like see at the top there this part at the lower part is good nice flavor but where it's burnt and changed the shape and the form no good and there's a wormhole. Thing that I learned about the Asian pears. Do you want to thin? Yes, you want to thin, especially if you want bigger Asian pears or bigger apples. So what I'm going to do next year when I run into the same problem and I get too many fruit on the tree is where there's a cluster of two or three, I'm going to thin it down to one because there's lots of points of where it's going to grow. And I want to keep it about a hand distance apart from each other from one fruit to another fruit so that's about a hand distance part and we'll try it out and see if it actually works if i get bigger fruit the other issue with having too much fruit on the tree is you don't get a lot of foliage now in the desert heat here this foliage protects the asian pear you can see here this asian pear is well protected it's still a little unripe because it's green on this side. You'll know when it's ripe, when it's more of this orangey yellow, and that's where the flavor kicks in. So you need some of this foliage to protect it from the sun. If you don't, then you get all these nice sunburned areas that are coming across here. So too much fruit doesn't allow for enough green growth to be able to protect the fruit from this stellar sun. Next year, I'm gonna thin it down and make sure that I get enough fruit. Now, an update on my grafts. This graft started to flower or leaf a month ago. And now, as you can see here, it is black. Black as death, which is kind of sad. It was a good graft, it was growing, and now it's dead. I don't see any other growth, but I'm gonna leave it on here just in case see if anything happens to grow. The other grafts that I did, like this one here, same scion wood, this is still growing. And I have another one that's down here. It's getting a little bit of damage. You can see here on the graft, it's starting to remove the paraffin or the, the plastic wrap basically. There's the graft. It's kind of ugly, but hey, it works. As long as it works, I'm happy. So those graphs worked and then over here, this graft also worked and I'm getting some additional growth. If I can zoom in there, this graph worked and that one worked. No fruit this year, but they worked out pretty good. All right, now off to the apple tree. Oh, that was quick. So here's the apple tree. All the grafts have done really good with the exception of one. So I guess I didn't have a 100% success rate. I had a pretty high success rate. Look at that graft job. So beautiful. It's coming alive, still growing. Look at that growth. Some of the fruit looking good. Again, sun damage, no good at all. Now with apples versus Asian pears, as soon as it becomes this color, the apple is toast on that side uh, but you can see it's still green this is the fuji 
apple and won't be ripe for another three or four weeks. I have picked some of them and eaten them a little bit early and they actually have a good flavor to them. They just don't have the right color and they're not mealy, which is also nice. Little crisp, little sweetness, not a lot. I did some summer pruning to take down some of the, tr the top of the trees so it wouldn't grow up anymore. And I think the downside to that is it exposed the sun to some of the fruit. If I come around the backside here, this is not a good sign. So this was one of the grafts that I did. It's a golden dorset. It was growing phenomenally well. This is a grafted golden dorset. And if we come down here and look at the graft, there's the graft. It looked like it took really well, but for some reason, that is no good. All right, so somehow, some way, sometime, maybe there was just too much heat when we got that nice big heat wave a couple weeks ago, 115, I think it even got up to 117 degrees and this is south facing so this was getting the brunt of it and uh, probably just died the other leaves you can see here dying on the edges and that's normal for this heat it i don't know if there's any way to make it so that it doesn't die but this is some good good info to know at the tips if it starts to die like that just give it some more water. That's a good sign saying, hey, I need water. I'm not able to get the water to the ends of the leaves and I just need more. But new growth that's starting. Zoom in there, new growth, the light green, more light green. That is a really good sign. So water your trees and water them enough and water them often. If you water them every day or every other day because you have sandy soil, I also highly recommend fertilizing. If you fertilize, then they'll actually grow much better and they won't have chlorosis because you're watering and pulling all the nutrition out of the soil. Also make sure that you have a good amount of mulch. So I hope that update helps and I hope you have a stellar day. Make sure you thin your fruit.